Hello, and in this episode of Building Shitty Products, I wanted to show off uh, some pretty cool animations that I've built for my startup level up. Now, I don't really consider myself a front end developer per se. I am, I mean, I've always been like a front end back end developer, so you know, that usually equates to being a shitty developer. But since this app is gonna be a pretty heavily focused front end, you know, where we're creating a game, so we obviously have to make it a good front end, um, I've taken on the daunting task of A, designing pixel art, and B, animating that pixel art so it brings the app to life. Now, if you don't know, the main goal of Level Up is to make annoying habits and tasks that you just don't want to do a lot more easy and a lot more fun to do through having a character that you can level up and earn XP. You kind of think of it as just like gamifying your everyday habits. And in my mind, the end goal with the animations and the pixel art is to have a whole different variety of backgrounds and sceneries and a bunch of different characters that you can choose from and obviously level up over time. As you can see on the screen, uh, you can see a, uh, a cute little fella here named Johnny. I like to call him Johnny. and. Uh, I'll show you the code in a second, but in this picture, we have three main components, right? We have the background, we have a little progress bar over here, and we have our animated character. Now, I'm not going to focus too much on the background because I actually got this from another site. Uh, I hope that I could. <laughs> I didn't see any copyright stuff and I actually, yeah, whatever. Um, I just, you know, I don't want to get sued. So um, instead, what I'd like to focus on is both this progress bar as well as the character. Now, how designing something like pixel art works is you can obviously do it on something like Photoshop and I'll actually go to that right now. Um, now, Photoshop is just like a uh, design tool where you can like make thumbnails and, you know, your own design. It's pretty popular. But what I found was another tool called Asperite Asprite, I don't know, Asprite. And within here, you can actually design stuff specifically for um, pixel art as well as, um, what is it? As well as just uh, cartoons. And this like gives you specific tools. So like this is the progress bar I built and they're all basically just like little pixels for obvious reasons. And so you can see, I can make like a little square here and cool, right? It's pretty, pretty awesome. So all I did was for this progress bar, I just watched a tutorial and uh, I was able to build something pretty nice. And so once I'm done with the design, all I gotta do is just export it and then put it into my code and I'll walk you through that process in a second. But next up, we have to talk about this little character over here. This is actually a lot more interesting and uh, it might come to a disappointment to many of you, but I'm basically just using uh, this, uh, what is it, like a Figma file. I found this online for free and uh, for now, at least, again, because it takes up too much time, I've just been using this as a boilerplate just so we can get by the MVP as quick as possible because I am no artist and I'm actually hiring an artist. So uh, if you want to, just let me know below. And by the way, these are called sprites. And uh, as I said, we'll get into how this works. But basically, these are different snapshots of the character and what we can do in our code is gather these all together and it'll create a cool animation or like the animation that we want. And so how this is actually being built is not actually through a, a video or like an MP4, but it's actually just different images right beside each other to make it look like a video. And the main thing that allows us to do this at such like a high quality level, like this is really high quality as you can see, like even as much as I zoom in, the quality stays the same. And what allows us to do that is something called an SVG. Now I'm just gonna take a pause from showing you my screen. Um, all an SVG file is, and you've probably used SVGs in your code or like a picture. Um, it's basically just a mathematical uh, list, not list, uh, mathematical calculation, you could say, of different shapes that make your image. And the main benefit of an SVG, there's, there's a whole bunch of benefits to it, but what it allows you to do is always have a high quality of your image, no matter how zoomed in or zoomed out you are. Now, all I've done for the progress bar is basically just have one for the loading thing over here, and then one for the actual full bar. That way we can actually adjust this based off the user's XP. So I don't really have an XP system just yet, but what we can do is let's say the user gets to 80 XP. This will be at 80, right? If they're at 20 XP, it'll be at 20. And it allows us to do that because we've broken it down into two different components so that we can update the bar. The more interesting part and what you're probably here for is the making of this animation. And to be honest with you, this is actually just, it's a lot simpler than you might think. 
And um, as I said earlier, you're just attaching different images to make up the animation. That's really it. And so what I did was I took the different uh, rows. So I took, let's say this is the one I actually took. So I have this row over here. And I just took these and made them into their own SVG, uh, SVG files. And I stored them into a file called, where is it at? Where is it at? There we go. I stored it into something called idle and I just had the different SVGs over here. And you can see it's just a bunch of stuff. These are the mathematical equations, by the way. And so now if you go down here, this is where I'm calling the SVGs. And uh, it's just one. And I'm just calling all the sprite indexes. And the sprite indexes is done in this use effect. And you state where we're looping through each SVG and displaying it every, I guess it's 250 milliseconds. So basically all we're doing is taking a snapshot of this, 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 and this, and this every 250 milliseconds, which at that speed makes it look like uh, an animation. Now I just realized something and this whole time I didn't even realize it is we're going through only three images and that actually makes sense through uh, this one. So just three. Yeah, this is one, two, three, one, two, three. So if I actually make it like six, it'll, it'll be totally different, but it'll just give you an example. So if you look now, um, it's a lot slower, right? Oh, it's not even seeing it, okay. So what if it's five? Real debugging here, right? Um, oh, so it's, I guess I had something to do with one of the images not showing, so that's why I put it at three, but shout out cursor code, right? Um, <laughs> But anyways, I hope you got the gist of it. Uh, it's a pretty cool animation and I'm pretty proud of it. And so yeah, that's really it. Um, just the cool animations that uh, I've built. Um, hopefully by the MVP, when it's, the MVP is ready, I will have a uh, better image as well as a better background as well as better animations. It's just, I'm not an artist. So if you're a pixel artist and you know you want a job, uh, let me know. Um, yeah. That's really it. Also, if you want early access to level up, uh, join the Discord, make sure in the Discord because I'll be sharing the code over there. So if you're interested, um, join that because I'll be announcing everything there. And other than that, thank you so much for watching. Happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.